Hey guys, Justin here with DIY or Die. Today I'm out here doing some work on a hot water heater on a 2016 Grey Wolf RV. This is a very common type of water heater. It's a Suburban 6W6DE model water heater. It's six gallons. This is a magnesium anode rod and every water heater is going to have one of these. Little known fact about these water heaters is that you're supposed to replace these rods at least once a year. So the way that these rods work is the magnesium will start to corrode instead of the steel tank of the water heater. So if you don't replace this at least once a year on your RV water heater, then there's a pretty good chance that your RV water heater eventually is going to corrode and leak, and you're gonna end up having to replace the entire water heater instead of a $10 anode rod. I'm gonna show you exactly how to remove and to replace the anode rod. They're not very expensive, and this is a DIY project that any RV owner can tackle yourselves and it'll extend the lifespan of your water heater and save you lots of money in the long run by just doing this once a year. So here's everything that you need for the job. You need the magnesium anode rod for your specific uh, make and model water heater. And you're gonna need a special tool um, or a socket if you have a socket set, but I just went ahead and bought this special tool and it's specifically designed to be universal and fit these magnesium anode rods. Uh, and it's long enough uh, where I can just stick a screwdriver in the hole and use that to remove the old one and then to install the new one. I'll include a link in the description to the specific uh, anode rod tool and to the magnesium anode rods. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of tape around the threads for the anode rod just to help prevent leaks. You can see how nasty and corroded that this anode uh, looks. And I can tell that this anode rod has probably never been replaced for the life of this trailer, which is not good. We'll see how it looks when I take it out. Before you take out the anode rod, make sure you drain the hot water tank. I'm gonna go inside and open one of the hot water faucets. Um, the hot, I'll open the sink, which is the highest one, and then that way air can go through the pipes and all the water can drain out. So what's the easiest way to drain the hot water tank? There's a couple different ways you could do it, but on every RV, there should be a low point drain for both the cold and the hot water. Many trailers will have a decal on the side that will kind of tell you where the location of the low point drain is. And the drain is gonna be under the trailer, but this is just showing me that this is about the location of where I should look for that drain. The drain's up. This is the low point drain for the red line is the hot water and the blue line is the cold water. So all I'm gonna do is remove this cap, get out of the way and let all the hot water drain out. The cap was on really tight. Normally you can loosen these by hand, but I just grabbed my adjustable wrenches so that I don't break the fitting off the hose. And now I can loosen it right up. Make sure you turn the hose off before you start draining the tank. Oh gosh, prepare to get wet. <laughs> Looks like all the water's drained out, so I can go ahead and remove the anode rod now. Pro tip, make sure you turn the hose off before you do this as well. So I'm ready to remove the anode rod. I've got my anode rod removal tool. And... Let's see how bad this thing looks. Probably never been replaced before. Oh my gosh. There's not even an anode left, and it's all completely clogged up in there. Woo! Oh, geez, it's very calcified in there. And this is why you replace it once a year, because this tank is very, very calcified. The tank needs to be cleaned out now. The tank was so calcified and there was so much gunk in there that I'm actually going to try to flush it out a little bit more before I replace the rod. And so I have this little contraption that lets me hook this uh, uh, PEX pipe up to my hose. And I'm going to go ahead and just use this to flush out as much of that crap as I can. Working pretty well.
you can buy a uh, pre-made hot water tank cleaner, but if you're interested in how to build one of these with the handle and everything, I'll put the links to those parts in the description as well. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to my other video where I use this same setup to unclog my RV toilet and flush out my black water tank. I'm just going to wrap the threads with this PTFE thread sealant tape. This is just stuff you can get at any local hardware store. I'll also include a link in the description. Pro tip, whenever you're starting the threads, always start them by hand so that you don't end up cross-threading uh, the fitting. Because if you cross-thread this fitting, uh, you're either not going to be able to screw it in, or after you screw it in all the way, it's still going to leak. All right, that's it. Now the uh, new anode is installed, ready to go ahead and reinstall the cap on my low point drain. And make sure that you fill the water heater all the way back up with water before you use the water heater. If your water heater comes with an electric heating element, the fastest way to burn the heating element out, and then you'll have to replace that as well, is if you try to start the electric heating element when there's no water in the tank. So make sure you fill the tank back up.